Google was an AI all along. Should we do it? Two, yeah, we have, we, if we have two hours left, listen, we have two hours to play some Guild Wars, and that's pretty freaking good, right? At the end of the day, I think the thing with, with Guild Wars is that we're probably going to do, like, the uh, intro leveling and, like, the initial, like, uh, gameplay and stuff like that. And if we do like the Guild Wars memes, I can try to, like, buy, like, a boost for another stream, and we could do that. We could try to do, like, some max level gameplay for another stream. We'll have to see. Um... But at the end of the day, let's get it going, guys, right? We'll, we'll figure it out, right? Let, let's see, let's see. First... So I, I do not recommend boosting. Well, I'm not going to be playing it for, like, listen, the MMO Monday is just we're, we're getting in and we're trying the actual, like, just a little bit of the gameplay and then the intro. It, it's not like, let's play the game for 50 hours, you know? It's just like, no, we're, we're playing it for a little bit, we're doing it for a few hours, doing the intro, see how the game feels, and that's the main part of it, right? That's that's the thing. They, is it more they can't be played on... 50, no, we're not going to play for 50 hours. You're crazy in your mind? Are you crazy in your mind? Uh, let me see here. It would take you 25 weeks to play for 50 hours. That's a lot of weeks, bro. Alright, well, uh, let's give it a whirl, I guess. I mean, at the end of the day. Can you listen to this WoW sound clip real fast? Oh! What is this? WoW sound clip. Do you think I have big mom energy? Is that Alex Strasser? Do you think I have big mom energy? Does she say when? What quest is that? No, it's literally on Wowhead. Like, it, it is literally on Wowhead. The fuck? You can make a playlist out of it? Do you think I have big mom energy? Okay, well, let's uh, let's do the... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yo. Yo, what's up, Atik? Good to see you, brother. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, y'all. Um, well, let's see here. I don't... It doesn't really matter which server we go on, right? At the end of the day, because we're, we're kind of just playing, playing it to try it out and stuff like that. Uh, music is way loud. I can fix it when we're in, I guess. Um... Is there a sound clip where she tells me she's proud of me? Uh, what? Create, delete, Kodash. Should we go on Kodash? I can go on Kodash. I don't know what that is. Underworld. Okay. Yeah, Tygen, you just want me to go to Underworld so you can flex your gear, don't you? That is literally the only... Isn't it, Tygen? Like, you, you are actually, like, fucking shameless, aren't you? Yeah, 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 okay. Well, sure, sure, sure. We'll go with that. It doesn't matter. Uh, let me... Ah! What? What just happened? Uh... Yeah, well, good stream. Yeah, we had fun. Do I... Wait, I don't know what happened. Okay, we literally... Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, well, I, I don't know what is going on. Let me turn on the volume a little bit here. Okay, well... So we're doing it. MMO Monday is continuing, guys, okay? And today, the game we're trying out is Guild Wars 2. Okay, we're playing the standard edition, okay? Not, no expansions, no anything like that. We're gonna be playing it for the very first time. I actually haven't played this before. I just lied to you guys, by the way. I played it back, uh, oof, like 12, 10 years ago or something like that. But I didn't do very long. I played it for a few hours and I never got around to doing it ever again. But, I, so it, it's sort of like a fresh, uh, first time playthrough here, right? Um, 
it wasn't out 10 years ago. Well, regardless, it is what it is. Regardless, though, guys, we're in Guild Wars 2. Uh, there's a bunch of different races we can choose between. I guess there's the... Uh, okay, there's the big wolf bear people. There is the humans. We got big people with horns that are also big and juicy. Then we have uh, E.T. coming home. And we got the elves. I think the character that speaks, speaks most to me as a... Um, Viking descendant from Denmark is obviously this one right here. This race of towering hunters experienced a great defeat. Wait, what? Maybe this doesn't speak to me actually. When the ice dragon drove them from their glacial homeland. Nevertheless, they won't let one battle, however punishing, dampen their enthusiasm for life and the, and the hunts. They know what the only ultimate victor achieves legendary rewards. Okay. Zuna matters for jumping passes. Keep that in mind. I mean, I like this guy. This guy looks badass. Okay, I'm gonna keep it real here, guys. He's a badass guy. Okay, so I'm gonna pick this. Male or female? Ooh. Okay, we're gonna go with the guy, alright? Yeah, we'll go with the guy, guys. Alright, and we're gonna, we're gonna do the guy. She looks pretty freaking badass, though. I will say that. Okay. She does look badass. The customization is good. Okay. You guys want me to go body type too? Go female. You guys want me to be female? Go female. Body. Yep. Yep. Is there a boob slider? I don't know. Let's figure out. Okay. Well, let's go with the milady then. Okay. Milady time. Uh, okay. Um. All right, so we we have nine different classes, it seems. Steakhouse, thank you for the nine months prime, by the way. We got the Guardian, which I assume is like a tank. Wait, there was like a little complexity uh, thing in Magic down here. So favors melee, support allies, and defensive. Okay. Warrior, high survivability, and weapon master. We got an engineer, which is very complex. Range, gadgets, turrets, and toolkits. Thief. Uh, nice. Uh, okay. Thief. Uh, stealth evasion, acrobatic combat. Ranger. Pit companion, naturalists. Necromancer. Summons minions, dark magic, and ranged. And then we have elementalist, which is uh, elemental magic. Versatile caster. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what to pick. And obviously there's Revenant 2, which is like an expansion pack thing in the jig, right? Thief or Ninja Looter is probably the most fitting. I mean, I usually play Thief or Warrior. Like, in terms of the classes I always play in video games, I always go for either Warrior or, like, Rogue. That's usually what I play, and sometimes I go for Hunter, right? Um, throw a curveball and play a caster. Really? You think I should do that? I'm not too sure, actually. If I were to play a caster, I would go with a... Uh... Mesmer looks pretty cool, too, but... Make a poll on how many in chat play plays Guild Wars 2. What's a PGM, by the way? Good to see him. This game doesn't really have a caster class, only builds. Okay, okay. Man, I don't know what to pick. See, this is the issue always with MMOs. There's so much to choose between, and like, it's a very impactful decision when you make your your choice, right? There are a lot of builds for each class. <clears throat> Mesmer is cool. Man, I like warrior guys. Okay, I'm I, like, I'm a big fan of big uh, big weapons and stuff like that. All of these classes also have three other subclasses as well. Oh! Guild Wars Warrior is boring. Okay, okay. So, Thief or Mesmer? What do we say? Thief or Mesmer? Uh, that's the two I want to pick between. Oh god, this is too close. I'm gonna make a poll. God damn it. I'll making, I'm making a poll. Whatever. 
Uh, thief, uh, Mesmer. All right, one for Thief, two for Mesmer, guys. Yeah, you guys get to decide. Okay, like at the end of the day, we're streaming. Let's let's see what you guys want to see. Mesmer Thief is actually quite close. Okay. Um. Don't don't. Don't, don't do that, guys. Don't, don't do that. Guys, don't. Please don't. Okay, don't do the... Okay, thank you. No, no, it's... Okay, okay, okay. You're doing it 50-50. Okay, great job, guys. Let's balance the poll so we can have a funny 50-50 joke. Uh... Okay. Okay, and you know what? It's leaning towards Mesmer. No, it's leaning towards Mesmer. We're going with the Mesmer, guys. We're throwing a curveball and we're trying out Mesmer. I usually don't play caster, so we're giving this a whirl today. Body features, okay. Can make her tall or small. Let's make her big. Let's let's make her tall. Okay, I like that. Good, good. Physique. Okay, so that's like the uh but oh, before we do anything, let me just try to see how the randomize feature works. Okay. It's like a warrior kind of look. Okay, there's actually a lot of different... Uh, you can make them look very unique, actually. Okay, okay. Uh, Alright, well, let's, let's start with this one and then we'll see. Hide armor to see the proper customization. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Um... Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Okay. You can... <laughs> Dude, she just like got like liver king abs implanted into her body. Holy. Okay. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go with the Omega like Liver King apps. Let's do that. Tattoos, so you can get some tattoos as well. I want to make them black like this or like dark. Yeah, that looks really sick. That is some. That must have taken a long time to get. Holy! All right, let's um. Let's go with this. I like this a lot. That That's pretty good. Right there. Okay, head options. <clears throat> so there's uh, a few different options here as well. Is the game too loud, by the way, y'all? I can turn it down a little bit. Oh, there's more options? Holy, wait. Okay, there's a lot of options. Okay. Like warrior paint. That thing. Oh, this looks cool actually with the little uh, stuff there. Okay, that looks uh, okay. We have that, like a little uh, thing. Okay. That. Uh, let's go with this. Let's go with this. I like that, like the, the, the things in the arms. Okay, let's, let's, I dig that, I dig that. Dude, there's actually quite a lot of customization. You can make them look very, very different, for sure. This one doesn't have eyebrows, okay. Good, I liked... That one, that one looks nice, That that's pretty good. Hairstyle. What is this music? There's like some constant music. Um, well, like sound, not music, but like sounds or whatever. It's like a thing. Dude, she looks like a like she looks like she could uh, like um, 
you know? <laughs> Holy! Okay. Move your cam. You're blocking the view. I'm blocking? Oh, you guys can't see in the customization. Oh, sorry. I'll, I'll, okay, sorry. Uh, I guess I'll go up here for now. Yeah, if you guys can't see the customization, there it is. Okay. Um... Oh, I like the little braids. Okay, let's go with the braids. Um, let's make it like that. that. That's good. That's good. Wait, you can actually... Wait, you can change everything. Honestly, I do not understand why WoW doesn't have this. Right, I like why 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 don't they just give us this so we can like have sliders for a while? This is like a lot better. Like it's just it's it's pretty cool if you wanna like really <laughs> Hey chat, hey Hey, what's up chat? You looking good over there or <laughs> hey yo hey I like the way you look <laughs> Be done with this soon coomers are coming Oh god Oh, we can make her look really worried. She's like Maya. She's like super worried, man. Okay. No, I like I liked the, the angry look like this. The sharp eyebrows. That looks good. She's ready for battle, right? Okay, that's good as well. We have violet eyes. What is that character from Witcher? Kind of look like her a little bit. Uh, okay, we're going to go with the violet. I guess that's fine. Yennefer. Yeah, we look like Yennefer a little bit. We can have a big schnauzer, so we can get all, we can smell all the loot, or we can have a nice petite one. Let's have it a little bit in the middle, so it's not too much here. Okay, is this entire MMO Monday literally just gonna be me making a character? Oh god! All right, let's uh do that. Okay. I wanted a little bit more tippy. Yeah, that's good. Like a little, like a little, little ridge like that. That's nice. Okay, the mouth. It's like she's sniffing something. All right, so we'll do it like this. The li lower lip a little bit smaller, and then. Holy, dude, she. She could eat like a cheeseburger in one bite. Like literally, just one bite of a cheeseburger. Hop straight up. Holy. Let's not have her that big. Yeah, let's let's make them a little bit smaller like that. That's probably better, right? Right there. She has right now she has a powerful chin. Like this jaw and chin can like break rock. Alright? And I kinda like that, I'm not gonna lie. She's very powerful. Um cheeks are fine. Head size. Wait, we can make her like five head. Like pulsating. Okay, let's uh, let's make it a little bit smaller head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a head width. Okay. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Armor dies. What the hell just happened? What? What? I just, just spent so much time making her pretty, man. All right, let's go with that. Oh god, guys, I'm not good at colorization. Okay, uh, she looks. It, it looks like a clown outfit, man. Okay, Thank that this looks good. Patronage. This looks very, very good. Okay. Wow. You really fell for my little trick. I hacked into your computer and changed the executable Steam launches when you press play for Guild Wars 2. You are actually customizing your own sex doll. What? If you like this tool, please share with your friends. What? Oh, okay, let's go next. A Mesmer's task creates an image I choose to look from behind of. Oh, so I can be happy, sad, or angry. Ooh. 
I like this one. This one looks like I'm going into war, right? Let, let's go with this one. I like that. Dude, I really like the hair. <laughs> Sorry. I, 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 sorry. The, yeah, the hair looks nice. Okay, she's she's good hair. That's good. That's that's nice. That's like nice hair. Okay. Okay. Charm. Trouble may follow me, but I used to overcome it. So what is this? Oh, so this is like my backstory. Is that it? Um. It, this is like my lore. I'm ferocity, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, defeat our ancient foes. I keep my body strong so that I can defeat our ancient enemies and protect the Great Lodge. It is my duty to, break to protect the spirit of the wild and recome to keep them safe. My intuition gives me the insight I need to guard the mists, where the souls of our ancestors endure in glory. Okay, let's go with this one. Revenge. At recent celebratory mood held in Holbrek, I blacked out, got in a fight, or lost an heirloom. Uh, I've had a rival ever since I was young. He's intelligent, treacherous, and cunning. I lost our last fight, but next time we meet, I'll even the score. That's good. It's good having, like, a, a, a nemesis. Okay, so we're gonna pick this one right here. When I was still a kid, I had a vision. A spirit of the wild spoke to me and offered me guardianship. That spirit was a bear, snow leopard, wolf, or a raven. I'm a wolf, I think. The wolf has the cunning of the pack behind him. He impacts the virtues of loyalty, ferocity, and strength in numbers. When he came to me, he whispered to, of my heroic future and told me I would never be alone. That's true. I'm, I'm a wolf. I'm like a lone wolf. Exactly. Can I... Can I get my name Gusu? Hold? Gusu is already in use. Uh... 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 This is... I did not expect this. Gusina. What? Somebody took Gusina? I'm not gonna call it Gusler. Gus. Gus. You have the first and last name. Wait. Wait, you have a first and last name? So it's like uh, Final Fantasy. Oh, okay, wait, Gus. Guza, Gu Guza, Guza. I don't know, man. Guza. Okay. Gu Guzlo, Gu Guzlo, Gu Guzli. I'm panicking. Okay, we're Guzli. Right. I am Norn, hunter of the wild, born of the free and rugged Shiver Peak Mountains. In the far north, my people fought our greatest enemy. Oh, shoot. Jormat, a dragon of frost and snow. Wow. The dragon broke our pride, but it did not break our spirit. Okay. In our last hour, we heard the voices of four of the spirits of the wild. Bear, Raven, Snow Leopard, Wolf. They called us south away from certain annihilation. We founded the Great Lodge of Holbrek and claimed new hunting grounds. Some say we should not fight Jormag. I say the greatest risk is to wager nothing at all. Okay. One day, a hero will lead us home and we will break the dragon's icy grip. All right. Oh. I was born in a fire. <laughs> My spirit has been forged and tempered. Sorry, like it was to go. <laughs> like my ancestors before me, so... I seek glory. One day, I will take my place among okay, the heroes. Look tough. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I was my so not epic. My is a gift from the spirits of the wild. With it, I can hold back the tide. Oh shoot! I can move mountains. I can overcome anything that stands in my way. <laughs> I am still untested, 
but already this is Danish my people have earned me friendship and great respect holy each year a great hunt is called in Holbrook. only the best among us are invited to participate I shall use my might to collect trophies that prove my worth then drink and boast of my victory yes I accept this challenge I relish it. Come, danger. Come, adventure. Up. In the lodges and halls of my people, <laughs> my strength will make me immortal. Oh, this color is... I should have picked a different this color. This is my story. I'm sorry, dude. The colors look so stupid. I... Yeah, that's me. I look like a the clown or something. Okay, it's not the best. But, you know, we'll make do. Uh, we'll make do, guys. It, it is what it is. Okay, let's not uh, worry too much about that. The Great Hunt, okay? Just waiting for the loading screen here, and then we'll see what is going to happen. Alright, this is me. Wait. Oh, I was wondering where the UI was. Okay, there it is, dude. Okay, so we got the UI there. That's good. So we can run around. WASD. Okay, we have a wolf. That's my companion. Not sure if the game is too loud. Let me know if it is uh, for y'all, okay? Can we pet the dog? Slash pet. Slash pat. Okay, we can't. Uh, first things first, before we get this going. Uh, what is my dance? Uh, okay. Uh, Alright. Uh... Okay, okay, that's uh, that's great. That's fantastic. Uh, let me turn down the volume a little bit for the music, yeah, maybe. Like so, right? I think that's probably better. Okay, so we're in the game. We're kind of just like thrown into the game. We have one ability called Mind Slash, and there is a lot of stuff to this, it appears. So I'm sort of like a melee caster. I can jump around, run around, WSD as normal. This is like normal... I almost said World of Warcraft, but normal MMO gameplay, right? To begin with here. Let me just move the chat a little bit so you guys can... Uh, chat, uh, chat, chat. I'm going to put you guys up here, okay? So we can see the map down there. Yeah, very good. Alright, so what do we do here? Dude, this... Holy, am I this small? I thought I was way bigger. Uh, can we open inventory? Inventory is I... Okay, and for to see my gear, I'm not really too sure about that either. But we'll figure it out. I guess this is going to be the first quest, right? Because we have our quest log on the top right, like there. Uh... Oh, I press F. Hail, hero. Hail. Are you here to take part in this year's great hunt? Of course I am. Just tell me what needs to be done and stand clear. Okay. Hunt down the wildest animals you can find and take trophies from your kills. Present only the finest to Ido the Tanner to prove your worth. Okay. Whoever has the best trophy and whose bravery is the greatest will be invited to join the Great Hunt. Newt Whitebear has said this scene's event will be one of the most dangerous, so be ready. I've even heard the renowned Erstagulkin might attend. Okay. I look forward to impressing them both after I've earned my place in the hunt. All right. All right, so the, the, the quests are like, if all the quests are like that, I guess it's from, from like an immersive thing in Magic, it's kind of good. Most MMOs just sort of have like a little quest log right there, right? Like WoW has to just like read the quest log like that. Um, but it's kind of dope. Oh, so H is for our equipment, for hero, okay. All right, so we can't really change anything like that. All the stuff is gonna get uh, unlocked as we level up, I guess. The wardrobe, the outfits, and the dice. Okay, uh, well, let's see here. So we gotta kill some boars and stuff like that. Why does my character look so offended? I'm not offended. All right, let's 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 go here. So, dire boar and a minotaur bull. Okay, so we need to collect some stuff. Uh, is there a way to see which mobs you wanna kill or is it just random? I guess down in the map, there's like some little stars. I guess we follow those, right? Can we sprint? Okay, there's no sprinting. What is that? Old Griffin Sire. Okay, so they show up like this as well on the on the thingamajig. 
You can hide the helmet. That's what I wanted to do, yeah. Okay. Is it tap target? Okay, it's tap target. Okay. That I do like. Tap targeting for me in MMOs is... Is nice. Okay. Uh, oh, we only need to get one trophy from either of those mobs. So I guess we got that there. That's nice. Also, I gotta do this as well. Hold on a second. Uh, options. Um... Isn't there one for the camera? There must be, right? Camera. Adjust camera. Enable first person. There's... Isn't there like a thing where it automatically... Because it automatically changes my camera for me, which I do not like. Display camera shake. Free cam? Is it free cam? Use free cam. Prevents the camera from realigning behind your character. Yes, this I turn this on in every single MMO. I hate when the camera like realigns for you. All right, let's go up here and turn this in. Hurry up, Ido. I want to get to the move. I, I do not like it. So we talk with F. Hail Hunter, I'm the local leather worker. Okay. Ido's the name. Show me your kills, and I'll make them into trophies you'll be proud to show at the moot. Tricking, singing, and boasting. Okay. I love a good old-fashioned moot. Others save their parties for holidays, but I say every day alive's worth celebrating. Oh, he's a happy guy. Hey, Newt, look at this impressive trophy. Worthy of the great hunt, I'd say. Indeed. So you are skilled enough to defeat your prey, and wise enough to revere their spirits. You are worthy to join in this year's great hunt. Well, just like that. By my own hand. I've brought the mighty worm is Sormir. He waits above in the plateau for one such as you to challenge him. The great heir Stegalkan watches over him now, waiting for the hunt to commence. When it is time, you and the others will go to the high ground over the valley. There you will face his Sormir and claim victory if you can. Okay. I can and I will. This is where my legend begins. All right. I will say it's very weird, uh, from my perspective, having the quests pop up like this as, as like sort of like a, I don't know, like an in-between screen. I guess I, I, I guess I'm just not really used to that, but it's very very different. It's like you're watching like a little cutscene or something like that for the uh, for the quest and stuff like that, right? Yeah, I've never really played Guild Wars before, so it's sort of like my first time playing it. I played for a few hours a long, long, long time ago, but we're doing a little bit of a thing. Where we're trying some um, some new MMOs once in a while, right? And uh, a lot of people are re recommending me to try out uh, Guild Wars. It's only the core game that does that. Oh, so that's only for the personal story. Yeah, I was about to say, like, it could become a little bit much if every single quest I did was like that, right? Like, if, if every single thing I did, they, they did that little screen thing, then it was like, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, a lot of people have told me as well this game is great, but holy! Okay, that's a big boy. Be victorious in the Great Hunt. Okay, so literally my second quest, I am killing a... I don't know what the hell this is. Okay, I guess we'll just like kill it, it's fine. Yeah, I'm like halfway dead. I'm not really sure if I, there's any mechanics I can avoid, but I guess I'll just like spam my abilities. Okay. Yeah, that thing hurts. What is this? E Wait, heal yourself. Wait, I actually have a heal. Okay. Wait, I'm typing. <laughs> I was typing. <laughs> oh god we did it guys we slayed the big creature oh here it is again what a hunt yeah i heard about your victory very impressive <laughs> thank you it was a hard fought battle and i'm proud of my part in it yeah true an excellent beginning to your legend friend you know, a lot of people around here have problems that need solving. A slayer like you could be a big help. Okay. Putting your skills to work sharpens them, and helping others wouldn't hurt your reputation either. Think of the glory. Glory. I will seek out these problems and solve them. 
Then we will see how my legend grows. Okay. All right. Yeah, I will say um, maybe for main story, having those uh, quest cutscenes are fine. But I, I, I can tell if it was for every single quest in the game, I would get tired of it. But that, that's because I have very hard times uh, concentrating with a lot of things like that. Um, okay, let's uh, let's see here. So we can open M for map as well. How big is the uh, the map? Okay, there's a lot. Okay. I'm not sure if this is just the base game or if it's the whole game because I do not have the DLCs. I only have the base game at the moment, right? So yeah, uh, let me see here. So I guess we follow... So there's a bunch of waypoints here. And I can't really tell where I'm supposed to go now. Oh, yeah, I think this is the thing about Guild Wars. I remember this when I played a long time ago very briefly. So they have something very similar to world quests, I believe, in WoW, where you go over and you do the quests, right? And you you're like participate in it, and you get you you get XP from doing that, right? So if I know, if I remember correctly, this was the main way of like leveling up. Like you 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 go to like these little areas on the map, and then you 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 quest around that area, right? Uh, find a hidden raven, raven X. Yeah, so we can go here and it, it glows up on the map. It's completely open. You can do whatever you want. Follow your heart. In a way, that's pretty good. Yeah, I, I mean, it is nice that you can sort of just kind of do whatever, right? So we're going to go over here. And we will help with this, right? A mere breath can kill me, yet a spark can bring me to life. My form has the power to dispel darkness, reveal my identity. That's hope. Oh. Wait. Oh god. Um. I feast on air, but drink no water. I have no eyes of my own, but without me you're blind. That's fire. Yeah, fire. Your cleverness is a gift from the raven. I know, I'm really smart. Okay, next- uh, wait, let me do the rest of the- Who is- The fury is mine. Wait, is are you a werewolf? What is that? Okay, so you're like an actual Omega high level person. Okay, yeah, I don't know what you have, but you have like a big sword. That is ridiculous. Holy, okay, okay. I feel like I look like a clown. Hey, Goose, okay, so we actually got some gamers to play this. You're like an evil ET, man, okay? Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me know if you need any help. I'm in chat too. Okay. Okay. I shall. I shall. Thank you very much, man. All right. What is the? Okay. Tygen, you, uh, <clears throat> listen, we are playing this game. Trying to figure out how the game feels as a fresh player. Okay. We're, we're not here to, uh, you know, <clears throat> yeah, we're not here to, uh, you know what I mean, right? Okay, let's do the, the rest of these. I can be found on a mountain, yet you can hold me in your hand or walk over me. I will outlive you, name me. You're a rock. Yeah. Yeah, that's a rock. Dude, you got a goddamn uh, Titan. You're a little bit of a saucy guy, aren't you? I won't lie to you, man. All right, um, with me, you will never know reason. I will blind you to everything else and drive you to kill your enemy. What am I? Your rage. Yeah, okay, next one. Why, why, why it feels weird banning Tygen, eh? I will devour you from the inside out. I must be conquered every day or I will take your life. Only in death you can stop me. Your hunger, yeah. Okay, you're shitting on him? What do you mean shitting on him? Unbelievable. Next one. You can burn me, build a home for me, or carve me. There are countless ways to use me. Tell me my name. Well, you would. Okay. I just wanted to show off the superior cosmetic options. Okay. Thank you so much, Tygen, for showing the chat how you can make your character look like as a high-level character. 
I that means a lot, Tyken. Thank you very, very much. I can, I can, I roar. I can kill quickly. I swallow whole. Yet I do not have teeth of a tongue. Well, hunger. Hunker doesn't kill quickly, so an avalanche. Yeah. Hunker is a slow death. Uh, Alright, next one. Cultivate me and I will grow. If you are worthy, I will become something that will last forever. Say my name. You're a legend. I am awesome. Did oh, I dinged. Wait. Oh, shoot. I dinged up. Okay, so I'm literally just running around doing riddles and I'm dinging... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm leveling up. What is this? Place an egg in the rooster. Okay, so I'm just helping out these things here. Okay, so I got a new ability called Blurred Frenzy as well. Which is like a literal anime move. Okay. Th that is like actual anime. Okay. Uh, Nice. Okay, we gotta do some more stuff here. Uh, your hand cannot contain me, your eye cannot see me. I'm fleeting when held, but you can catch me if you stand still. What am I? Breath. But you can see breath. Because you can see your breath. It's hope. That's the... You can, like... <sighs> you can see your breath. Okay, I think I gotta get the X, right? Um... No, I need one more riddle, though, right? For the quest? Oh, it's this one. No. This one? Consume me, and then you will choke, but within me is the key to life and growth. What am I? What? I just Thank dinged. You kind, sir. How did I just ding? What? I don't know what I just did. Yo, Mella, thank you for the raid. Thank you for the 179 viewer raid. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, consume me and you will choke, but within me is the key to life and growth. Slain animal? No. Money? No. It's earth. Yeah, that's Parker's. Okay, well, so we did that. <clears throat> Wait, so this was literally a quest. Gaming, welcome to Guild Wars 2. Oh, oh you're Guild... Oh, thank you. Welcome, guys. Yeah, I'm playing Guild Wars 2 for the first time. And honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. But we're figuring it out as we go. Which is... That, that's how it is, right? <laughs> thank you for the raid, though, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am uh, testing out the game here. And I do not know what I'm doing. But we're figuring it out. Look above the minimap. There's a lot of stuff, like, shaking here. So that's the rewards. Level 2 rewards. Okay, so I guess whenever you ding... Hold. Whenever you ding, you can pick up a reward? Stat increase? No, I guess it's just like that. Okay, so when you ding, you, you get a... You can... You actually get rewards for dinging as well. Like bags and stuff like that. Okay. And we unlock PvP as well. Level 4... How did I already get level 4? And then we got this from the Raven quest that we did. Okay, so so the the quests, they turn in automatically. I guess we take the bag on like that. And we actually got a wooden rod that's better than my weapon as well. Yeah, this, this weapon was literally better as well. At level 6 we can get the wardrobe. And we can see our build too. Okay, okay. <clears throat> New abilities. So I got a confusing images. Channel a beam of energy that damages and confuses your foe. Fight me. Okay, okay. Wait, so weapons have skills as well? Your abilities depend on your weapon type. Really? Oh, I see that! Yeah, I equip a new weapon, and I get new abilities. Oh god, dude, this is confusing, man. Okay, so you, you pick your class, but then also the weapon you pick changes your class as well. Oh, 
Never stop tryhard, never donated tryhard of luck on tryhard stolen off the tryhard neighbors with my tryhard mom's house tryhard stolen solar panels tryhard stolen sun tryhard solar energy stolen tryhard water. Okay, I mean that makes sense. Tryhard stolen hydroelectric plant tryhard charging phone with work electricity tryhard shower bathroom sink tryhard stolen food from cave tree tryhard stolen hamster. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you again, Milo, uh, Milo, for the uh, big raid, by the way. Everybody joining in from uh, Milo's stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I think I'm going to go with the sword then, guys. Illusionary leap. So I can leap to this. What? Wait, what? And I can teleport? Oh my god, Mesmer is confusing as hell. Okay. Oh, okay, that is confusing. Wait, so could I be a Mesmer with a two-hander? Oh, shoot. I mean, maybe. I could. Oh, that's actually dope. Wait, I like that. That I will say. That I do like. The fact that, like, your weapons can, like, uh... You can make so many different builds, right? Because most MMOs is just, like... Okay, I play a warrior. I'm a warrior, right? It doesn't matter what my weapons are. It doesn't matter like that. It's just you're a warrior. Or you're a mage. Okay, you're a mage. And your, your weapons are usually just... Like... They're, they're just like, okay, this is your, your, uh, you gain some new, you gain some more strength, you gain some more attack power, and that's it, right? Whereas this is like, it's a build. So I'm like a sword mesmer, I guess, right now. Okay. Um. You, come here. Okay. What, why? So what is this? There's like a... Hero's mood waypoint. Okay, I don't know if this is obvious, guys, but I do not know what I'm doing. Okay, I, I, I. Yo, come here. What is this place? I'm ready for my next adventure. Where should I go? You should visit the sacred shrines. Talks to Drumund down by the fire pit. He reveals all the spirits. Oh, so they're fast travel. Okay, okay, okay. Stampeding mana towers remaining. Okay, so we need to like defend this area, I guess. Wait, so the game is literally just go out and explore. There, there's no, like, main story I'm following. There's not, not nothing like that. It's just literally go wherever you want. There, I mean, I guess there is a main story, but you're not, like, obligated to follow it per se, right? Explore and you will get small personal story based game. You will unlock it at level 10. Okay, so once you get level 10 Then you get then you get the main story, but until then you just kind of like doing whatever you want sort of uh, We need to kill some stampeding minotaurs here For this quest, I believe. Okay. I see where they are. They're right over here Okay, so I guess we do that I I okay I can I can use my abilities even though they're not in range. Okay, that is a thing. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. So we do that and we swap over here and then we can do that. Oh. Wait. Okay. Never mind. Uh. Yeah. Never mind. Uh, that that okay. Dude, I'm. Bruh. Okay. There you go. It's literally just donor walling me. Like, it's annoying me. Wait, so I can just make a bunch of gooslies. How does that knock me down? What? Nothing can bring me down. I, I, I don't know about that one. Big damage. Okay, nice. Use range on these. Yeah, probably is a good idea, right? The damage numbers, they look okay. They look okay. They're not too shabby. Let's go over here. It's a horizontal progression, so the power creep does not exist. Best gear from 10 years ago is still best today. Um, okay, okay. I, it, it's, it's a lot to try to get into a game for the first time here, especially in MMO. But I'm trying to figure out how we do this, right? So we're level 4 right now. Right now we're just doing like a bunch of different quests we find around the world. And I guess it's like one of those things where like... Quests just sort of pop up, like, randomly, right? And then we do those as we go. So we did this event now, and it just gives me the XP. Okay. Alright, well, that's pretty easy to understand. I always need to remember to loot. That is very true. I think I kind of forgot that. 
yeah, let's go over here and loot these. Oh, they have AoE loot. Okay, that's nice. I got a helmet as well here. Collectible. Double click to open. Contains helms that are more powerful than standard level 5. What? Wait, so I... What? So we get a hood. Requires level 5. Okay, and I can't use the other ones. So you choose whatever helmet you want. Is that normal? I, gu I guess it is. That is very strange. Like, you pick up an item, but then you choose the item you want to pick up. That's interesting. Okay, let's try to move down here, because I think we got to learn how to dodge. Yeah, see, like this. Like, there's just, like, a new quest that popped up there, right? So it's like, I'm close to a quest, and I can go over here, and I can do this. But let's go over here, guys. Okay. <clears throat> I feel threatened by this game. Can we go back to WoW? <laughs> you feel threatened? Oh, shit. <clears throat> Alright. Chest. There's a little chest here. Uh, dodge to avoid danger by pressing the V key. Wait. There's dodging? Another proud moment. Oh. Wait, there's actually dodging. And you can see the little dodge recharge down there. Oh my god. That's probably really Oh, PvP is probably gonna be really dang in this game, isn't it? If you can if you can dodge and stuff like that. Alright, let's open the chest up here. Uh nice. So can we can we dodge backwards? Oh, that is actually cool. That is so different. What the hell? It's like Dark Souls or something. Bear listens, but does not always answer. Uh, these scum has just locked down. Their dragon is preventing me from searching it. Okay. Okay, let's try this out. I will say this. It, it's kind of cool. Like, that you you're sort of just making your way through the world as you want to. Most... I will say most MMOs are very, very linear in regards to, like, you just go here, there's a quest, then you go to the next zone, then th this quest chain starts here, and then you do that, right? So in, in that regard, this is kind of very different, but it's kind of cool, I will say that. Okay, so we're helping out the boys here. Destroy the tent so we can get the wolves out and stuff like that. Okay. Nice, so we got that. It's very strange to add. I'm not like running back and forth and turning in quests. We just dinked again, by the way. I'm already level 5. And we can pick this up, and then we got a thing. And since we dinked level 5, that means that we can equip the new helmet we got, right? Oh my god, so every single item that drops, I get to choose. Okay. And then we can equip it as well, right? Yeah. Now I look like I'm a lady. Okay. Okay, that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. This is a game with a lot of map completion. Okay, okay. So th there's like another thing down here. I am literally just running from place to place and finding random quests. So, start a pack hunt, defeat sons of Svanio, Rex, Svenvir, Camps, and Banners, and free wolf pups. Okay, so we just need to do all of this right here, basically. Wait, what are, what are you doing? Yes, I would like to be honored with the pack. Wait, am I talking to wolves? I... Oh, I like that we can do AoE, though. So it, it is like single target, that I, it, it is tap targeting, but they're like, my ability seems to have cleave a lot of them as well, right? Like there's no like real single target, it's, it's just like a cleave thing, sort of. Interesting. It's both? Yeah, I suppose it's a mixture. It does feel different. Uh, like I can, I can tell it's tap targeting, but it does feel different. Mind whack. 
Yeah, like, look, like, this ability is just, like, everything, right? Same with the, my other one as well. Uh, is this my wolves? Am I- did I abandon my wolves? Is this mine? I'm not sure if this is my wolves. I'm just gonna follow these guys right here. You don't need a target for most skills. For example, you can use two for avoiding stealth damage. Okay, okay, okay. My name is Goosely, man. Alright. Just try clones damaging nearby. Oh, so I can like summon a clone and then like blow it up. Wait. Oh. Let's free this. Nice. Okay. So we got that quest there. That's a lot of XP too. All right. Uh, complete nearby events. Okay, so there's like there's like constant events coming up as well. Yeah, so I suppose you summon a bunch of clones, right? So I clone it up like this. And then I can blow it blow it up, right? Okay. Yeah, we're trying out Guild Wars. We're doing a thing called MMO Monday where we're trying out different MMOs every Monday. And today it's uh, Guild Wars. So we're giving this a whirl and I'm really I'm trying to figure out how the game really works, right? And I suppose whenever you're doing these quests as well, uh, the more contribution you have to the actual quest, the more you get out of it too, right? Yeah, so the more that I do for this quest, the better reward. So you can't just like go in and yoink something, right? You have to sort of do something as well to get something out of it. What if I put my... Oh, I wanted to put my clone there. Okay. Nice. No bennies. No, I didn't quit. Wow, guy. Oh my god, guys. Can we stop with this quitting everything meme? Guys. Uh, I saw something down here. I really... Uh, that really piqued my interest, actually. Uh, let me see if we can find it down here, actually. Uh, I guess we're gonna keep killing these sons of Svanium. Okay, some of my clone. Okay, and then we can blow it up as well. Okay, nice. And looting is just like on F, right? So you just press F to loot, basically. Um, okay, where do we want to go now? Speak to so speak to the scout to reveal new renowned hearts. Hearts. Okay. He was to his bad choice for our players. You will hate WoW's core gameplay after Guild Wars. <clears throat> and we will see. We'll see. I do think it's fun though, like giving giving other MMOs a try, just trying out different games and, and seeing how they feel, right? Okay. I do like the rolling mechanic though. I think the rolling mechanic is pretty pretty dope actually. It's diff I could imagine PvP pre being pretty interesting in this, right? Since you can do like uh if you can dodge other people's uh, attacks with roll and stuff, then for sure. It's like with gender you have to try, otherwise how would you know? What? Like you mean, try like... Oh. Alright. Okay. At the end you should watch a max level Mesmer PvP video. We could do that. We can watch like some max level Mesmer stuff after and we'll see. Still no map puzzle. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Right, let's go over here. This valley is a sacred but dangerous place. Visit the shrines to the spirits of the wild. You'll be tested by both our enemies and the spirits themselves. Okay. And look out for extraordinary chances to prove your courage. Mm -hmm. You honor us all by acting without being called. I already did this one. All right, so he, he just kind of shows you where, the, where, where content is, right? Like, if you there really don't know where to go, cover, he's like, okay, here's the content. By finding the Asuran waypoints. You may have to pay a small fee to return to them faster than the raven flies. Okay, let's go down here to this content. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Alright, this this is the expansions, right? Yeah, okay, that's the new expansions and stuff like that. And you ding up like this, and then we're good. Yeah, I want to try out some new weapons as well, right? But we'll figure it out. 
what is this? Healing Einhander or a Vital Soft Wood Staff. So if I equip this, I'm gonna get new abilities again, right? Oh, I'm not. That's the same type. Okay. Alright, so that's the same type of weapon. Because it's, it's a sword as well. Alright. <clears throat> What's up, uh, Kamikaze? Try the staff. Oh, this one? Boy, so you just get new abilities, man. That's so dank. Uh, leopard moves swift and silent. Speak with Shaman Cigar to transform into a snow leopard, then hunt prey and play with cups. Wait, wait, what? Whoa! Whoa! Let's go, guys! <laughs> wait. wait, this is so weird. Okay, well. This questing style is so different from anything else. It's just sort of like. I'm not used to this at all. I will say that. We dinged again, by the way, guys. So I'm just role-playing as a, a cat right now. Okay. I gotta go play with some cops as well. Suspicious bush. Okay. Oh, so I keep... Okay, I keep trying to right-click stuff. Every single time, I try to right-click something, and it, it, you have to press F. <clears throat> and it's like really, really breaking my brain. The combat with this leopard feels really weird. It, it, it feels very strange. Okay. Let's do this here. Okay, I'm going like this. Okay, we need a few more of these. There's also some... Where's all my... Where's the cops at? If I want to play with the cops, right? I'm not gonna wear the cat ears, bro. Can I kill the cat? Oh, kill the, kill the rabbit. Nice. Uh, moose? Mooses are actually like insanely strong IRL, by the way. Like they are ridiculously strong IRL. Do this here. Am I resurrecting something? Oh, I am. Nice. Okay, so we're halfway done with that. How do you know? Because they're they're dangerous, man. They're like really really big. Is he killing the goddamn snow snow leopards? This guy, bruh. What if I kill this thing, Doljack? You can hit a moose with your car and it will just walk away? Yeah, mooses are crazy, eh? They're crazy big. Oh! Uh, okay, I, I think I went too far away from the thing, but... So since we have this, so now we have... Oh god. Chaos Armor. Phantasmal Warlock. Wait, so now I'm a literal caster. Wait, I went from... What is going on? I don't know what's happening anymore. Wait. Yeah, I feel like I'm LeBlanc from, like, uh, League of Legends or something now. Okay, I'm playing one class, but I'm playing, like, four. In reality, right? I, what just happened? Okay, I dinked. Okay, we got that. Let's get this great sword here. Okay, nice. Uh, so now we got a great sword. So now we get new abilities again. Oh my god. Dude, wait, so can you like swap weapons like mid combat and then like, no, there's no way, right? Like. That comes later. Wait, so I'm, now I'm a caster, but I'm like a... Two. What the hell is this? It unlocks... Oh my god, wait. So I, I can have two weapon sets. So I can swap from having a two-hander and then use all my two-hander abilities. 
swap over to like my staff, use my staff abilities and swap back and forth. Oh shoot, okay. Okay, so rotations can become very complex in this game. Like, I have played this for like, I don't even know, like what, an hour now? And I'm, there's a lot of stuff, okay? Like there, there's different weapon types. Then you, I play a class, but I'm not only playing one class, I'm playing like classes within my class. And then I have to choose my weapon types and stuff like that. Read your skills, yeah. This is very overwhelming. But I mean, maybe you don't have that many abilities. If you have like five abilities per character or like per weapon, it's not that bad. That that might be copium, but if I have five abilities here and then five there, then I have ten, right? Yeah, so you, you have ten abilities. And then you swap back and forth between them. All right, let me let me be a leopard again here. New World stole this system. I was about to say that whenever we started playing the game, there was some game when whenever you guys told me about that weapon swapping thing, I was like, there's some game that uses that, and it's New World. Yeah, New World has the same system with weapons, where you uh, you swap around with uh, like you you get like a crossbow, then you're a crossbow build, and then like you get a uh, art, like a bow, then you're on a bow build. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's do this here. Continue this here so we can get the, this quest done. Okay. It gets really interesting with the expansions. Professions can unlock elite specializations, which actually can change how far ex the Exemplar can cooperate. Whenever we do this MMO Monday thing, it's always so... It's very overwhelming playing an MMO for the first time. I, I think that's the main takeaway from doing this, like playing these different games. So far we've done OSRS and we've done uh, Svator and we've done Guild Wars 2. I, I think so far Guild Wars 2 is the most... Difficult to sort of get into in terms of like there's so much stuff, right? But I, I think it's nice that it's very um, Open gamed kind of you just kind of go wherever you want You know what I mean, but we'll see here. Okay, let's uh, do this Keep doing these and then we have a little bit more here Nice That okay, a little bit more. Will we try Lord of the Rings online? I I mean, if we keep doing this MMO Monday, we'll end up playing a lot of games, right? All right, we got that. We leveled up as well. Level what level are we now? We're level eight. No, seven. Vitas unlocked. Okay, not sure what that is. Raptor mount. You will get a Raptor mount at level ten. Wait, so you get mounts very very early on. Okay, we need to keep killing these dredge people as well, because we unlocked a new quest as well. <clears throat> nice, we got that event done too. Uh, let us go over here now. <clears throat> the orange things are world events, okay. Jesus Christ. So we're still sort of in the starting zone as well, right? Uh, I'll come by and show you the mounts, including two passenger, whenever you want. Oh yeah, we can do that in a sec, like see how the mounts look like and stuff like that. Yep, yep. <clears throat> he only dated some aliens in Svator. Well, isn't that the gameplay though? What, dude, when we were playing that game, people were just like, Oh, dude, just wait till you see the goth girl, she's super hot, you know, like that, that was literally it. You get the base raptor fast. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see over here. Oi. 
What's up, MK? Uh, disarm bear traps, hunts the new trappers, and removes the tags. Okay. So we're protecting the, the things. So the quest arch is very open worlded kind of. You just gotta go around and do like a bunch of like things. It is very, very similar to world quests in WoW. I mean, it basically is a world quest, right? So I assume this is the main sort of like leveling way that you do. And then there is uh, your main story that you can do as well, right? Anything to get the idea from? Yeah, maybe. Sunset, get up here. Wow, stole the idea from here. Uh, there's also a recent uh, addition to the World of Warcraft game called uh, Dragon Riding. I believe, if I recall correctly, I think that the mounts in this game have abilities. Um, and depending on the mount that you pick, you can also get different abilities. So, like, let's say you're playing... Let's say, look, you're, you have a raptor mount, and this raptor mount has a dash and a jump or something, and, like, a whatever. And then you play a you play with a cougar, and then that cougar has, like, a stealth ability or something like that, right? Like, they have... The, the, the mounts have, have different sort of usages as well, if I recall correctly, right? Suspicious tree... Sus, okay. Oh god. Like, the weapon feels weird, like the two-handed. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm a caster, but I'm not a caster, right? Uh, nice, we need a little bit more here and then we're good. Suspicious, Svans, okay, this guy. I'm just powerful, man, at this point. Nice, let's keep clearing these up and then we'll see. Okay, I literally just one shot now. Oh, it's because I'm killing level twos. Oh, yeah, I mean, that probably explains a little bit. But I'm still getting a bunch of XP from this, though. I was just like, I was, I'm, I'm just that powerful now. Uh, all right, let's go over here and do this over here. The content scales, okay. So you can kind of just go wherever you want, sort of. I want to try to get to level 10 though, so we can see that mount, okay? Uh, are you only trying out MMOs once, or do you plan on continue playing them? Well, it, it's a hard thing with that, because... In order to get a full feel of an MMO, it is very difficult, like, you have to play a lot, right? So I, I think generally, like, we're just kind of like giving them and trying and seeing how they feels. Go swim. Okay. Oh, yeah, so you, you can also get, what, like, swimming abilities as well. Yeah, so once we get higher level 2... Actually, once we get one more level, then we can get, like, water abilities. We just need, like, one more level, and then we can get that. Amazing PvP as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it takes a lot of hours to get into the game, really, right? But we're just getting like a like a sort of like a feel for the game and stuff like that. Okay, we're gonna do some stuff in this cave here. Bam. Why right, we gotta find some jump puzzles as well? I wanna I wanna try to do that. So we're, we're just stealing all their offerings and the grain and everything like that. Right, this quest is pretty easy, Clap. Jumping puzzles? Bro, I am a jumping puzzle god, okay? Okay. Let's keep going these here as well. Uh, I usually play WoW Peapock. WoW is like my main game. Right, but we're trying out some different games lately and just seeing how they go feel and stuff like that. But I, I am mainly a World of Warcraft player. Okay. It feels so strange not picking up quests though. We're just kind of running around and doing that. Right? 
Oh, he's talking about the Guso TV uh, channel kick, so... Nice! Uh, we got that. And we ding level 8. Yeah, we did. Nice. Okay. Underwater combat unlocked. And we got our final ability too, which is Illusionary Wave. Okay, so very soon we can get a Raptor Mount as well. Dude, there is Dopamine coming out the wazoo here. Cloth Aqua Breather. Ow! Ow! What was that? What was this guy? Uh, you have to play this again after five days or later to do the Christmas jumping puzzle. Uh, we could do that. I mean, that could be fun, sure. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, okay. So we have some underwater abilities too. So when we go underwater... Yeah, we actually get... Wait, so do I... Wait, I look kinda m'lady. So is this like a Earth Trident? Oh my god, so I have underwater abilities too. What? Wait. So there's underwater combat? This is so weird. Wait, what? I mean, don't get me. I like it. I, I, I'm just really confused. I'm sorry. I, I, it, I, it, it sounds like it's a really bad thing, but um, there is a zone in World of Warcraft called Vashir, okay? And I personally really, really enjoyed that zone, and a lot of people did not. But dude, it would have been so cool if you got like underwater abilities too, or something like that. Wait, so I would assume you can actually... There is actually gonna be like some underwater dungeons or like something like that. Or like maybe not full dungeons, but like parts of the dungeon. Where you are doing underwater stuff. So like maybe there's like a section of the dungeon where there's an underwater boss or something. That is pretty cool. Spell stacking is too complex. You can combo too if you shoot through fire. It's at, it, it adds effect. Okay, uh, let, let's talk to this guy here. Hero challenge. I don't know what I'm doing in here. Hey, I got my eye on you, sneaky rabbit. What are you up to? No good, I'll wager. I'll tell you what. Fight me and I'll learn a thing or two. I'm not in the mood. Wait. Take the point. What does that mean? Take the point. There's something on the map here, like this. Tasty fish. Take the point. Waypoint on the map. That? Item in your bag. Oh my god, I got more gear. The, the loot is weird, because I'm not used to, like, having... I'm, I'm gonna take the ones in the middle because that seems like the only one I can really use, right? So I, I, I'm, I'm gonna pick the ones in the middle always. Yeah, that, that's probably for my spec, I would assume. The filled diamonds. Uh, maybe there is some classes that can use multiple uh, like armor sets, right? But like for right now, I'm just always picking the ones in the middle. And we look like this now. I would look like a uh, like a priest or something. It's only really while leveling, so you gotta always be geared enough of whatever zone you get into. Okay. Barracuda. Okay, so I am literally I okay, I am not gonna lie guys. I am just spamming all the abilities, okay? I I am literally just clicking every single ability. But uh yeah. Might makes me right. 
Yeah, I, I, I click this ability and I'll see, okay, this one is up, then I click that one. Right, that, that's how I do it right now. Whatever lights up, that's what I click. You are better than 90% of Guild Wars 2 players just by spamming your skills. <laughs> oh god. I feel like I picked a very complex class though, that I will say. Wait, didn't I do that quest already? Yeah, I did that, I did that, okay. We have a waypoint here we can pick up. So whenever you walk over to a waypoint, you get some XP. And you can teleport over to that place, right? That That's understandable. Okay. Uh, let's try to go in here, and then we'll see what's in here. You get XP for everything you do. Yeah, so you can literally quest with whatever way you want to quest. If it's like, I don't know, professions, or mining, or herbing, or questing, or whatever you want to do, I guess you can quest that way, which is nice. That's something that they added in WoW as well, uh, where you could, like, level up doing, like, herping or, like... I don't think you can level up from, like, actually doing blacksmithing and engineering and stuff. But you do get XP. What is this? Awaken remnants and have appeared in the area. What does that mean? Something happened. I guess it's this? The, the thing? Is an event. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm running towards the sword icon. This thing right here, but I don't know how far away that is. It's a map. Can you stop? Listen, man, what the hell? I'm trying to figure out what to do here. Oh, uh. I think it's far away. So that's like a that's like a map wild. That's like all over the place. Okay. The map looks weird. It it looks nice when you're zoomed in, but I guess it's the style, right? Or maybe that's because I haven't explored these areas yet. It's the same thing in WoW where like when you haven't seen some areas then the, the map is like kind of grayed out, right? It's on your map. Yes, yeah, like once I go up here, then this will look like a normal map as well, right? They're in the zones you're in. Wait, really? So it is up here. They press their attack. Okay. So I suppose it's like right over here. There's like more of them now. I mean, I'm having fun so far, but it's very much to get into, right? I feel like I have so much on my, like, stuff my character can do already, which is like very, very, very overwhelming for me. And that's a big reason why I'm also just sort of like spamming all my abilities, right? Because like, I, I got so many different abilities already, that's like really, really, like, what is this, all this stuff, right? So like, I'm just sort of pressing everything. Okay, so all that stuff is over there. What is this thing? Unexplored map sector. Okay. So I guess that's a new place I haven't been to yet. Okay. Uh, if one explodes my mobs, I know that. Or like explodes my minions. Okay. That thing is confusing. Wait, so if I go over here, then I explore a new map, or like a new area. Is that how it works? This? That's a vista. I got XP for that too. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, I got XP for that as well. Nice. All right. I will say it's like I... Maybe it's because I'm not paying too much attention to it. But... I kind of forget to loot. Like, I really, really forget to loot in this game. Usually in MMOs, I do not forget to loot. But there's something that just makes me not loot in this game. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's not shiny enough for me, or maybe it's like... I'm just overwhelmed by all the stuff going on, but I am forgetting to loot a lot. I think it's because they don't really light up the mobs, yeah. Like this, like this I can loot, right? But I don't really pay attention to it. You can dual wield weapons now. Since I'm level 8 or what? Equip an offhand. Oh god, what is that? Wait, so I can- wait, I can do offhand? Might makes me right. Wait, I'm so- wait, so I have an offhand? Wait. Nope. Ability 1 and 2. So now I mix the two weapons, so I get the abilities from the offhand, and then that's four and five, and then my main hand is one, two, three. Okay, so it's the same amount of abilities, you can just mix two weapons as you want as well. Okay, I think again, by the way. Okay. And I got like a bunch of stuff. Okay, next level we can get the Waptor and we can get like an actual mount. Yeah, I, I will say this. I am it is very overwhelming. As a new player that hasn't played this game, it's a lot to take in. Like, there's no linear questing, so you just kinda go there and, and here and there and then there. You kinda go wherever you want. There's so many abilities and like swapping your things and Stuff popping up and everything like that. It's very, it's very, very difficult to get into. But it, it, it's the it's the sort of the same thing. I would I would I would maybe it's not the best comparison, but also like uh, Path of Exile, right? Path of Exile is one of those games where there's so much complexity to it, where if you're like a really avid player of the game, it's extremely fun because there's so much you can do, right? And there's so much like different things you can get done with it. But as a, as a new player doing the game for the first time, it can be extremely overwhelming, right? And it can be so much to take in at one time. If, if that makes any sense. Big helmet, but back full. Was there a helmet? Oh, the helmet there. Yeah, my bags are full. Sorry, sorry. I'm gonna delete this. I mean, that's the same helmet as mine, right? Yeah, it's the same one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's let's go down here and we'll see. There's a button in inventory to store all the crafting materials. Just straight up. Compact. Deposit all materials. Oh. Well, well, why doesn't it just do that by default then? And there's an auto sword as well. Because what if you need them? Well, then they're just in my deposit thing. Right? That's the. Oh, so I sent them to a bank. Like, I. But I don't have to run to the bank. Oh, so to be able to get these back, I have to go to the bank and then pick them up. Okay, well, that, okay, that makes sense. I thought I'd just put them into, like, an herb pack or something like that. Okay, so it, it's like that, basically. Oh, I can equip these tools as well? Oh. 
Oh, what is this? Okay. You guys remember what I just said about it being like extremely confusing for a new player? Like, what is this? Okay, so I got achievement chests, I got watch list, path of fire. Oh, this is achievements. Okay, and then crafting is here. I can't open that yet. Story journal, build. So I'm gonna get one, two, three, four more abilities. And I'm gonna get three different specializations. And an aquatic specialization as well. Holy, okay. Um, and we can dye our gear as well. Can I just do that for free? Oh god, it, 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 this is a lot to take in. It's free? Oh, it's free. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. So you can just, like, kind of dye whatever color you want. I kind of like that. that that's kind of dope. Like, for transmog and stuff like that, you can, you can make it look like however you want. Like, if you like an armor set, but you don't like the way it looks, you could change the colors, right? Like, now I look like a Ritma lady. It didn't work. Wait, what? Did I not, did I not save it? Give me a sec. Press apply. Can you stop? I'm transmogging, man. Holy. I'm gonna make everything black and then a little bit of red here and there. Oh, not that. Oh, like that. That That's way too red, isn't it? No, that's actually... No, that's way too red. This I like. Yeah, so like it's like red details. Okay, that looks pretty good. Am I edgy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I am. I'm like an edge lord, man, literally. Okay, it is what it is. All right. But yeah, back to the point I was making. It's very a lot to take in. All the things happening and all the stuff you're getting and everything like that. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad thing, I would say. It's just, for a new player, it, it's so much, right? Nice. Black and red can't get more edgy. Dude, it looks cool though, let's be honest. Okay, so we discovered this area here, and we can go deeper into the cave here as well. I keep forgetting to loot. Okay. I'm gonna say this, that's not me, it's the game, okay? I usually do never forget to loot, but in this game, for some reason, I just don't loot, okay? <laughs> I don't know what it is, man, I keep forgetting to loot. You're supposed to take your time with it, that is true, that is very true. I guess we just spam if after we kill stuff, right? Norn, yes, solid, strong, we walk you in shadow, okay. You gotta learn the if way, yeah, I suppose so. Okay, so if we head deep into a cave... Okay, we're getting up here. We're sort of done with this area, I think. Like, sort of, right? And if we want to go somewhere else... We can just do like this. And teleport there. Okay. Yeah, so it's literally instant. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so fast travel is very fast. Yeah, so I guess you gotta go north after this, right? Okay. That's why I played this game for a while and quite, because there's a hundred things you gotta learn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Equip the bag in your inventory. 
Do I have another bag? Oh, you mean this one? I have this one, right? More to explore. Yep, true. True, 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 true. Talk to the lady. This lady? Not enough energy. The promise of adventure calls us north, but it takes a fierce and wild oh, heart to survive outside okay. the sacred valley. When you're ready, test yourself against the untamed spirit of hair. If you can outlast her metal, you may have what it takes to weather the challenges of the frontier. Okay. So you talk to these scouts, and then they introduce you to the new zones. All right, all right, all right. I want to keep rolling, man. It's like Dark Souls uh, brain, man. I want to like keep spamming my rolls. Honestly. You're just balancing out all the overloading you do in WoW. I guess that's a fair point. Yeah, that, that is a good point. Are you Have you played this game, Index? Have you been a uh, Guild Wars enjoyer? Find hungry, find hidden rabbit food and bring them to Bjarni, scare bunnies away from anyone carrying food. Okay. I used to play it a lot back in the day. Okay. Okay, so I gotta bring Duke. Okay, bring this over to this guy, right? Okay. Oh, so we just bring him rabbit food. That's easy. Uh, do you like Dark Tide? I'm having a blast with it. Dark Tide was really fun. Actually, the Dark Tide video uh, did really well as well on YouTube. I, I I I was a little. I mean, did you just steal my thing? Yeah, the Dark Tide video actually did good. Like people liked it. Like I, I watched it and everything. I was really happy about that, man. Okay, so if I go into the oh, oh these stupid. Okay, the, okay, these rabbits can suck a chode. Why am I chopping a tree? Oh. Nice. Yeah, we gotta dodge the bunnies. Okay, it's fine. I'm a little bit lady, going on a stroll with my, uh, my rabbit food. If it's your usability, yeah, like you, you talk to people and stuff like that with that, yeah, yeah. Okay, here you go, mate. Nice, almost done with this. Okay, I want to see, I want to get my mount and then test out how the mount uh, works, right? What's up, snowman? Hello, hello, hello. Good to see you as well. Thank you for the comment, old friend. I appreciate that. I'm, I'm trying, you know, my best. Quickly. Playing Mesmer? Uh, yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. What are you? Are you insane? Hold, traveler. I don't know what just happened. Uh, I think they gave me like a speed boost or something. Yeah. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Yeah, he buffed me up like out the wazoo. Okay. Nice. Quickly. Come, come. Buffs are called boons in Guild Wars 2. Okay. Hold, traveler. I feel like all of y'all, every single, every single MMO we try out on stream, you guys all have like maxed out Omega Giga Chat characters in all the games. Literally, OSRS, we have people with like fire capes and like crazy loot and everything. So tour, we have guys coming in with the hottest like alien babes, and here we have like Tykan with like the most insane transmog and a guy rolling around on a ball. I don't know, man. It's it, it's how it goes, dude. You know. Quickly. We do be gaming. Yeah, you guys are a bunch of gamers. Ah, this little rabbit is stealing my food. You little... Alright, we got the quest done. Nice! Easy clap. I'm gonna tell you a secret. I'm a pleb in this game. You just played for the mark or what? 
You're a little E.T. person. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, thank you! Jesus. Okay. Let's go here. So we talk to the scouts, and then they scout introduce us to the zones. Okay, I see that, I see that. It's not just the wind and the snow that test you out here. If you're seeking a challenge, take the road north out of the valley. Okay. Beware the sons of Svanir. Their dragon cult inhabits the northern area like a dark, violent shadow. Alright. Yeah, so every single new map you go to a place, you talk to the scout and they show you where all like the world quests are. I'm gonna call them world quests because that's the closest comparison I can really get, right? Um, you can buy items from the quest givers for karma. They're usually bad, but if you have an empty slot, it's fine. Okay, so whenever I finish a quest, they become a vendor. Is that what you're saying? <clears throat> okay. Can we get Age of Empires? <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, okay. So like this guy, Biani. Sacred bunny treasures. Oh, yeah, so he sells stuff now. Age of Empires? That is an old school game. That is an old school one. Oh, wait, can I sell here as well? Spirits of the wild welcome you. Oh, I can. Sell junk. Thank the lord to have a sell junk button. I like that. That this button right here. Good job. Good job, wow. Can you check this court? Yes, I can. Um. Oh god. Um. Sure. All right. Let me see here. There it is. I got you. I got you. I gotta go. Is it getting cold in here? Stop burning, wild man. Stop burning, wild man, okay? I just played GTA San Andreas again. Just <laughs> GTA San Andreas. Right, I want to get level 10 so we can uh, bing bomb bang with that, right? And then we are good. Uh, yeah, let me try to do one more quest. We'll get level 10 and we'll try to see how the mount feels. Ah, uh, the game is fun. It's very, it's a lot to take in though. Okay. It, it, it is a lot to take in. I will say that. It's My brain is like trying to understand everything that's going on and stuff like that, right? Throw snowballs, throw snowballs at children. Oh. Wait, I'm literally just... Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I'm bullying... Can I double kill? No, I can't. What the hell, man? Uh, the leveling is a little bit weird with the world quest and stuff like that. Maybe, maybe there's like, you know, you can do the actual campaign and things like that. And it's a little bit of a different thing. Okay. You're just destroying these. No, I don't think you could punch. That's a little bit... Uh too much, you know. Why are you messing with the kids? Listen, man, it's a quest, dude. What can I say, man? Okay. I mean, it's what it is. Alright, one more quest here. And we should be level 10. Easy. Oh, I got a letter! Wait, what does that mean? I mean, we're doing level 10, I think, right? Yeah, we got level 10. Weapon swapping unlocked. Oh, God. And a Rapture Mount unlocked as well. Okay, so that's where you unlock all the stuff, basically. The Rapture. Road sets the Rapture. For the next 10 hours of gameplay, you can explore Tyria with the help of your Trial Mount. Upgrade your account by purchasing an expansion to permanently unlock this mount. Okay. So they kind of just give it to you for free. Hello, Mr. Streamer. Hello. Yeah, they kind of just give it to you for free. Um, how was you doing? I'm good. 
And you can have weapons. Oh my god. Each set must have it. Oh my god, it's way so I can make different sets. Wait. Wanna ride in on my turtle? Uh sure. What is that? That, that I How do I ride you? Accept party. Uh sure. Wait. Board it's Bro. <laughs> what is this, bro? He has a literal flying turtle. Launch a siege attack that explodes on impact. Damn any... What? That is... What? So this is a mount, but it's like a literal war machine. That is interesting. Dude, this is what we're talking about with the mounts, man. Like, the mounts have, like, abilities and stuff as well. Like, you have swimming abilities, you have weapon abilities, you have, like, dual wheel weapon abilities, you can swap your abilities. There's so many abilities. Oh my god. And he has like a little space machine thing. I don't know what that is, man. Okay, let me try my raptor here. Okay, so we can jump. Leap. Yeah, that's like the jump. And then we have this as well, which is tail spin. Leap towards the target location, damaging foes. Oh, so that's like a little, uh, that's like a dismount thing. Hold the leap. Okay. I mean, that's... Pr honestly, th there's so much to this game, man. Jesus Christ, there's so many, like, different things. Let me just check something real fast. Okay, okay, okay. When you upgrade the Raptor, it pulls enemies together. Hold space, not one. Oh, so you can do a longer jump. And I guess you use the, uh, you use like the, 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 the thingamajig for that. Yeah, so the longer you hold in the mount, the longer you can jump as well. I think it's cool. Okay, coming from a person playing Dragonflight and being very, very excited about dragon like riding. This is sick, man, obviously. Cause I mean, let's be honest. They, this is probably where they got it from. Okay, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it a buck 50. They, they, they just straight up yoinked that from Guild Wars, okay? And I, I think dragon riding is sick, so obviously I like this. I think this is really cool. Like having like abilities with your mounts and stuff like that. It just makes mounts cooler. Having abilities you can use for them and the different mounts having different sort of things as well, right? People are riding on a giant war turtle and flying hoverboards while Goose is riding a bald chicken. What's that supposed to mean? But it's cool, like, I like this, man. So, like, and, and then I can, um... I guess I can make different sets now as well. So if I want to do a great sword, Oh my god. So now I have a great sword set. And I have a dual wheel set as well. So, like, we could, we could... Oh my gosh. So we could, like, open like this. Do that, and then we can swap to this, and then go in like this. And then the swapping has a 10 second cooldown. Okay. Yeah, when you're in combat. Yeah, thanks, man. Thank you so much for the for the kind words, uh, Turkrit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, we, we go in. We can do this. And then we swap to this, and we can use these abilities as well swap back and forth that that is cool okay that, that's pretty cool source has pitchable gifts work in open world for mesmers 
Yeah, I guess like having some sort of like a close close ranged weapon. And then like a like a long range could be sick, right? Because you can like do like some range stuff like this. Right? I do these things here, and then the mobs come close and you start stabbing. That's dope. I I, I do think it's pretty uh it's a pretty cool combat system for sure. It's just very different from what I'm used to. But that doesn't mean that it's bad. I mean, it's cool. It's very, very sick. I could imagine PvP being very, very... Oh my god. With the dodge mechanic, being able to swap weapons, and mounts having abilities, there's probably really fun PvP you can do in this game. Yeah, I know. We can blow up the uh, mirror images too with the, uh, with the mind rack, whatever this is, right? I just watched the PvP stream, it looks fucked. Yeah, I, I could imagine that. You can try PvP whenever and wherever you are from level 10. Really? Wait, so I could do PvP now? How do I... Do I queue up for PvP? Or how do I do that? I'm not sure. Do, like, is there a button I gotta press and then I can do it? Top left, there's a PvP button. Unranked arena. The PvP people is missing components. PvP lobby? Oh. Wait, so you can... Wait, what? Wait, is it... Now you're level 80. Wait. Uh, guys, I don't know if we should do this. Uh, yeah, okay, I don't know about that. Wait, so level and gear doesn't matter in PvP. What? What? Wait, so you don't have... What? It's skill Wait, so you don't have... So the gear you farm on your character and, like, collect and stuff, you don't use that for PvP. You just go in and do PvP. Is that it? It's just for looks. Oh my god. Yeah, I got a lot of abilities. Yeah, I, I suddenly, like, unlocked, like, a buttload... Uh, yeah, I don't know about this, guys. Uh, you can get fury is mine. <laughs> okay, so this is like the hall of memories, I guess. Mass invis. If you want to, you can import build from a website like Meta, Meta Battle. No, dude, I'm gonna get shit on. All your specs are unlocked as well. Wait, so you can literally just go and PvP from the get-go. How do I queue up? This guy? Welcome to the heart of the mists, newcomer. Here you can own your skills and learn how combat works from experienced veterans. Once you feel you're ready, you can move on into battle. You don't have a build? A but I, I have my build, right? Know when you can fight and when you cannot. And you will be victorious. Good luck to you. You need a talent as well. Build. Okay, uh... 
Bro, is, is am I all am I all these builds? Oh, wait. Specialization hero. You're all three. So they're these are passive effects. Okay, they're all passives. What? You guys remember when I said it was a lot to take in? Guys, like... It, it, yeah, it's a lot to take in. I do not recommend doing this if you're like... Like, so I'm literally... No, dude. Wait, so how do I... Play. If you live on normal, you will gradually unlock all of this. No, I, I feel... I feel like, yeah, you should not do this. You, you, you should not do that. You should just level normally and then do that. Now, wait, is this like a, like a, like an arena or what is this? The missing amulet and rune. The amulet decides your stand. Yeah, dude, it, you should not like th this. Is a lot to take in. With the weapon swapping and all the talents and everything like that, it, it's a lot to take in. No, there, dude, I can't. I, I'm not. There's no shot. No, 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 no. I, I think we're gonna, we're gonna leave this place, guys. Okay, like I, I, uh, trust me, it will not be a beautiful sight. No, no, no. Let's, let's leave that. And, uh, dude, no, no, guys. At the end of the day, like, that's a lot to take in. I can show you a build. If you want to, you can try it. No, 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 dude. I, I am going to get absolutely destroyed, bro. I don't even know what I'm doing. No, at the end of the day, guys, like, I would have to, like, get a little bit better and learn a little bit more and stuff like that, right? Like, that, that's obviously, like, the truth of the matter here. Like, I would get frustrated. I would get annoyed. And then that's how it goes, right? That, that, that is the truth. I would literally just get frustrated and annoyed. And I would get annoyed at the game. And getting annoyed at the game is not a good look, right? So now we have a raptor. We can literally just run everywhere we want. Is there like a puzzle we can do here, guys? Like a jumping puzzle in this zone right here? Because I kind of want to try to do that right now. Is there one like here in this zone? Summit got clapped. Not a hard one. Is there? Okay, but where would it be? The red triangles on the maps are puzzles. Oh, I mean, like, I mean, like jumping puzzles, right? Right, like the jumping ones. Is it this one? The red triangles. So it's these ones over here. No, this is just like a... What is this? Yeah, so it's just this. Okay. There's Shaman's Rookery. It's in the middle. Like, here we just, like, look at the thing, right? And we get some XP. It's the middle, a lift of the map. Oh my god, like here? Oh god. How is Guild Wars 2? It's very fun, but it's a lot to take in. I, I Most MMOs are, but I feel like out of the ones we've played so far, this one is the most, like, my brain is in overdrive, like, playing this. There's so much information taking it in. Um... There's a lot of information, right? But what do you mean Guild Wars 2 is so simple? Well, from a person who's never played it before. But I, I mean, I, I think it's the main thing is just like you got to learn how the spec feels, right? But I mean, it, it's straightforward when it comes to 
you just run around, you do the quest like this, and you do that. But there's a lot of depth to the game, I think. You're just overthinking it? Probably as well, yeah. Probably as well. It's a good mixture of the, the boat, of the two, right? You should play Warrior much more simple, like, wow, Warrior is to play. But it's fun, like, I, I am enjoying it. Like, it, I, I think there's a lot of stuff thrown at you at once, like, just in the beginning. But that doesn't mean that it's bad, necessarily. That, that it's just like, that, that, that's just how I'm feeling for the first time, right? But I'm enjoying it, I'm having fun, like, trying to learn my class and everything like that, right? I know this is on Christian, but we could. Uh, your uncle is giving birth. Okay, well, good luck to your uncle, man. Uh, Herb is right. I might have gotten how it feels first time I played Guild Wars. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm just kind of running around right now. But the main game and leveling is really easy. It lets you take in things. Taking your time is also the key. Also, read the skills whenever possible. Yeah, like taking your time with the game and like really, really learning your character and everything like that is definitely pretty vital, right? I, I feel like if you want to understand. And I think that's the main thing I've kind of like learned from playing these different MMOs already is like really take your time with things, right? Because it, 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 what is this? Sorry, I spaced out. What is that over there? That's an event. It's a random world event. I have so much fun leveling one when I was super, super slow. Yeah, I mean... So there's like events like this all over the place or what. So this one is a... Kill the corrupted leader of the Sons of Svanir. So this guy right here. Oh, so there's other players doing it too. Might makes me oh. Uh... What? Okay. You guys remember when we were about to queue up for like a BG and you guys all thought it was a great idea? Yeah. I didn't. Well, some, some of y'all. Swap to this here. It's like a deflecting because we avoid that. So is there indicators of what he does? Banner of defense. So when we kill this, we gain some XP too, right? There's a lot of people here. Right? Yeah, we get a little bit of XP, I guess. I mean, it's not kind of dope. What? It puts you at 80, it throws way too much at you when you're just starting out, but the PvP is great in this game. I can really see myself enjoying the PvP because of the weapon swapping and the dodging. Yeah. But it is very difficult to get into if you're just trying to learn it. But most MMOs are. I, I feel like that's the general takeaway with MMOs just overall. They are difficult to get into because there's so much information. You're into a new world, you're learning your class, you're figuring out the mechanics, like how does the questing work, how does all this stuff like figure out, right? And that's just MMOs. That's just how MMOs are. They are very difficult to get into, which is also a big reason why MMOs aren't as popular nowadays, right? Because people just like to jump into a game, uh, you know, Modern Warfare, do a game of shooter, and that's it, right? MMOs is very, like, you really gotta, like, get into the game, learn your character's abilities, figure out Who's the lore, all that stuff, right? But I think this game is good. I, I, I'm actually enjoying it. I, it, it, it. It's cool. My class is very, very confusing, though. I will say that. Mesmer is uh, way too dank. There's, like, I can teleport. I have, like, I'm, like, a caster, but I'm not a caster. I'm a melee, but I'm not a melee. It's very, very confusing. Uh, I, uh, maybe that's... I'm not gonna lie. Maybe that's a big reason why I'm trying to... I'm struggling so hard to figure out this game. 
And I think that might be a fair thing, right? Like, I, I'm probably really confused just because of my class. If I would have played a warrior, I probably would have understood a lot more, I think. Because this is like, okay, I go in with a big weapon and I just hit stuff with a weapon, right? Something like that. Uh... All classes have both melee and ranged weapons. Yeah, but I feel like this class is very complex. Read your mails. A mini gift. Don't... Wait, do... Mini... Guys, don't send me... I feel... Don't send... Guys... One of... Dies. Wait, am I getting... Combined with a mini pile of... I don't know what... I don't know what that is. What's up, Sarah? It's a collectible. Oh, it's like a little thing. Mesmer is literally meant to confuse your opponent. Yeah, but it's confusing me instead. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, the game is cool though, right? Like, I... <sighs> Mini Professor Mew is probably the rarest mini in the game. Really? Oh, I mean, that's cool. I mean, I, I don't really know what this is. Uh, I started with your class plan of it, but didn't struggle with the classes. Oh, but no, I, I'm, I'm, I, I think it's actually dope. I, I could see myself really liking the PvP if you got into it. The PvE could be very interesting too. The main thing that, that is really intriguing is like all the different, the, the way that the abilities work, right? With the, uh, with the swapping of the weapons and like every weapon having a different skill, which obviously New World, probably. You know, they kind of got a little bit of inspiration off of this game from that idea. Because I did think about that the moment I saw that the, the weapon swapping was a thing and like the way that the abilities work with the weapons. It's like, okay, there is some game that came out that just had that thing as well. And it was obviously New World, right? But that's how it goes. You just spent 10 minutes struggling with PvP versus Rapids? Yeah, 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 yeah. Unbelievable. Your seventh ability is just unlocked. Oh, I did. Mantra of Pain. I don't know why I leveled up. Did I just level up? Chant the enemy. Damage your target and nearby foes. Inflict vulnerability and fall. To battle! Ah, so it's like a stance kind of thing. I don't know what the hell is happening, boys. Uh, it's, it's like talents. Okay. Yeah, I guess you get XP from exploring because I was just kind of like running around, uh, like ranting a little bit there. Um, but you talked about like a Christmas jumping puzzle event that's gonna come out soon, Unara. Maybe we should like, whenever that comes out, we should like jump back into the game and like try to do those, right? That could be kind of dope, actually. Okay, question. Is that Christmas jumping event, is that gonna be hard? Is that gonna be like a difficult challenge? Like the jumping puzzle thing? Because that would, that would be kind of fun. On the 13th. Okay, we, we could try to do that on the 13th. There are three different tracks. Okay. Alright, that's pretty dope, but um, it's somewhere in the middle IMO. It's one of the hardest, but there's X's, the medium, and easier version of it too. Oh god. Oh, okay, so you can choose which ones you want to do. Okay, okay, okay. But overall, like, this game is... It's actually, it's it's fun. I do think I kind of grieved myself a little bit by choosing a Mesmer. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, the class is cool. All right, it, 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 it is cool, but God damn it, it's confusing. Okay, this Mesmer class here. I'm just like kind of pressing all my buttons, but um, it's fun. It, it, it is fun, I would say that. Just start, go again as warrior. You haven't even locked any of the confusing stuff yet. So what you're telling me is that all the stuff I've been confused about is not even the confusing stuff yet. And all the confusing stuff is about to come. 
This is the basic stuff. Okay, well, I'm in for a, a fun ride then at that point. Confusing stuff is elite specs. Okay. Making ults is super easy. Almost everything aside from story stuff is account wide. That I do like. That I do like. Jesus Christ. Man, it's difficult with these MMO Monday thing when we're playing for a little while because you want to get more in depth into the game, right? Like, you, you want to get more in depth to it. it, it that, that's like a story thing, Imagic, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, now that I'm level 10, you can continue your story. Okay, so this is what you want to do with your stories. Like, we've the main thing that we've done is just, like, done the, all the world quests and stuff like that. But this is, like, your actual, like, main story quest. Oh, and then you can do this for your actual, like, thing. And then uh, in the dragons, whatever this is, right? Maybe skip the WoW part on MMO Mondays? Perhaps. One day doesn't probably show the game. There's so much to see and do. Yeah, that's what I thought about, like, trying out more... More days or, like, m multiple weeks in a row with the same MMO. And then, like, give, doing it, like, doing... Maybe doing, like, three weeks of one MMO. And then, like, you know, you go from there, right? Like, I don't know. Maybe that could be a good way of really trying this out. Because I feel like the first... The first thing when we play an MMO, like for instance today, right? I'm just kind of like trying to learn the game, figure out the questing, figure out the, the stuff. And then it's like, that that's it, right? But then we could like, the next time we could try to like get dungeon or something like that. If I like the MMO, exactly. Yeah, that's true. Just have an MMO rotation of the ones that kind of grab you. Perhaps, perhaps. Stick with it for a month. That could be a good way of doing it too. God damn it, there's so many ways you can do this, man. Uh, so far, do you like this better than Svator? I think out of the games I've played, I, I think this was my favorite ones out of like the uh, Svator and OSRS and stuff like that. Yeah, this is probably my, my favorite one, I would say. Because I, I don't know, it, it, I like the gameplay a lot. I like the feel of the game. I like the combat. And the questing and stuff is fine too, right? That I, that I do, that I will say. Five hour... No, dude, my, dude, I've been live for more than five hours. The, the stream DC'd, okay? Stop with the five hour Andy. Yeah, I'm not ready for Mesmer, probably, right? That's how it goes. Um, He's really trying to hit the five... I have been live for longer. Stop, guys. It's not... It, I'm not even... I didn't even look at the time. Relax. <sighs> Unbelievable. Guys, but, but guys, listen... What should- Oh, we could try it next week again, right? Like, we, we could try that. Like, where we- we. <sighs> Shit, I'm trying to see, man. Like, if we want to do that, maybe we could we could talk about it and then we can, we can see, right? And now we could try to do, like, another uh, Guild Wars day. What do y'all think? Do y'all think we should, like, continue with another Guild Wars uh, session? And like try to get a little bit deeper into the game, or should we just try like a random MO for next week again? You should do another when the Xmas possible out oh, 13th of December. We could do that. More Guild Wars. Okay, we could try to do it again. I'm I'm down to do that because I think the game is pretty intriguing and, and pretty fun. So like this was like the original little thing image we, we tried out, right? So maybe we could we could give it another world next time. Because I like it. I think the, the game is fun. The game is fun, and I would like to play it again. And if people think it could be more fun to do another one, then yeah, sure, we'll do another stream. Uh, surely next Monday? Yeah, we will. We will. We will do it, okay? Okay, but we'll, we'll, we'll see, though, guys, regardless, though, right? But it was fun. I actually did enjoy it. I, I am very hungry, okay? Unironically. Maybe if you wanted, you should level off stream so you can show off in-game stuff later. Uh, I might try to level like a thief, like up to level 10 or 15 or so. Um, and then we can do like the next stream on that character, right? And we'll have to see. Yeah, that could be quite fun. Fri Variety Friday, MMO month. Oh, God damn it. Should we just... <laughs> Maybe we should just stream like fucking t 15 hours per day so we can always do everything, right? Um, but regardless to guys, I'm probably gonna end it here for now. Um, if you guys really do like the MMO stuff, like with the Guild Wars, I say we try to do Guild Wars again, okay? Um, not sure if we'll do it like 
tomorrow or whenever we do it. We'll we'll see though, and then we'll figure it out, right? Um, yeah, we'll see. Okay, we 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 could do uh, Guild Wars again. Uh, continue it and give it another try and get a little bit more in depth into it. If you're saying there's like an event on the 13th, we should definitely do that on the 13th then. Because we could play the game then and then do the big puzzle and it could be super fun, right? The, the jumping puzzle and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I, I say that's pretty dope. But should we... Uh, who should we, uh, should we... Should we host like some Guild Wars, Andy? Maybe that could be good, actually. Um... Yeah, but guys, I, I'm, I'm going to end here for now. But I really appreciate you guys being here and watching and hanging out. and wa Especially watching the different game. It, it's always so cool you guys want to hang out and like uh, be a part of like the um, the different variety too, man. It's, it's, it's always so sick. Who's this guy? Oh, he's speaking Spanish. Should we host like a Guild Wars Andy here? What's, ha what's happening? Um, Guild Wars Raid. There's a lot of Spanish speaking uh, Guild Wars players, it seems here. New player, chill. This guy, this guy's like a cat. Host Gusu. Wait, that's me. Um, boys is a PvP gamer. He's PvPing. Do you guys like boys? You guys like boys? Okay, you know what? Let's send you guys over to boys. Sure, man. But guys, um. Sure, let's do another uh, Guild Wars stream, guys. We'll continue it. We'll try to get a little bit deeper into it and do a. Let's do a longer session next time, though. Okay, I'm I'm super down for that. And then we're gonna be um, we're gonna be giving it another good world. Okay, but seriously, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out today. I do appreciate that. I hope you guys have a uh, great evening. Thank you for all the subs, gifts, the subs, bits, and donations. Sorry for the little scuff stream with the restart and like everything, the stream going a little bit fucky. But we, we made it and the, the stream uh, happened. So that's good at least. Guys, thank you for being here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. More Guild Wars. We will do that again. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna level a thief to level 10 off stream and then we can play on the thief, I think. Okay? Maybe. We'll see. Because Mesmer is very confusing. Bye bye, guys. Boop. Oh, why are there two of you guys? Oh, there we go. No, I, this it's not a fight. I, I was live earlier. Check the bots, okay? I, the stream DC'd, okay? It, it, it's not five hours, man. Like, I, I DC'd.